If you're looking to build, to build yourself your own multiple monitor setup like the one I have behind me, you've come to the right place. So basically this video is for anybody who's a graphic professional who's using Photoshop and needs many monitors. Uh, it's for uh, gamers who want to play with three or more screens on their computer. It's for stock trader who want to play right up to from 2 to uh, like 30 monitors on a window setup. It's for anybody who just wants to work from home and have many monitors. Uh, also for programmer, for programmer who are working with complex code and complex database. So basically you can have many databases on two or three monitors. You can have your code, you can have uh, your PHP reference or whatever reference on what you're coding on, on any other monitors. Uh, so that can really maximize your efficiency. If you're any one of those people, then you've come to the right place. Let's take a look. So basically, if you're asking yourself, uh, how do I build a multiple monitor setup like this one? Or if you want to, either because you want to save money for doing it by doing it yourself, or simply because there's so little good reference on the internet on how to do that. There's so little uh, just finding the right video card like this one is really really hard and there's a ton of ways that you can screw up when you're buying uh, computer stuff uh, both in terms of quality or in terms of uh, for example on this example uh, the term of space of how much space you need how, mu how many monitors you want to have on your system etc so basically why why am I qualified for this I've been building my own computer for the last 20 years I've been experimenting a lot with different price ranges uh, I can tell you right away that having that trying to pay the less possible for a computer is a big is one probably one of the biggest mistake because it's like buying an old car. The only thing you're gonna end up doing is being underneath trying to fix it. So if you buy cheap parts, uh, you're not gonna escape. You're gonna be screwed. It's gonna crash all the time, especially if you have like many monitors like this. So if you're a stock trader, the last thing you want to do is have your computer crash on you right in the middle of a transaction or before the close the closing bell at four o'clock if it crashes and you're stuck with buys uh, you're screwed so basically you want a stable system and one of the best way to do that is by buying exactly the right components for this type of system uh, so what are you gonna learn so basically you will learn what sort of monitors to buy? Like, is there a good price range for monitor? Why, why buy LED instead of LCD? Why uh, is there things that you need to watch out for? For example, if you're buying like anything between like an eight to all the way to a, like a 30 monitor setup, uh, there are things that you might never think of. For example, uh, you, could, <laughs> you could just overload, overload your uh, electricity. So basically your jumpers might jump because the monitors are drying too much current. Uh, there, are, there are many other, uh, other things like um, when you're buying a monitor, like how many watts, first of all, does it, does it draw? Uh, how much is that going to cost you in, the, in a year, in 12 months? Is there a VESA mount? Like are there screws behind that you can put so that you can put it on the computer stand like this one? Like this is a four monitor computer stand. So are there uh, is there the right VES amount for your, pro your, your monitor stand? Uh, then there's like qualities, there's like brands. Uh, the bezel, like if the bezel is like is not perfectly square, then you, you're gonna have trouble like fitting your screen correctly together and they're gonna be way too much space apart to be efficient. Uh, and then uh, what, uh, like, <laughs> like let's stick with the monitors. If you buy a monitor, like sometimes it tells you, sometimes it doesn't tell you, but some monitor will come out with VGA cables like this. So basically, are you gonna get screwed like if you buy a monitor with VGA cable, but all your, v all your graphic card are DVI, then you're gonna need to buy ad adapters like these ones. So basically when you buy adapters like these ones, there are like six types of adapter. They are like dual link, single link, uh, there's like digital only, there's like uh, analog or whatever. So basically if you buy the wrong type, like even with all my experience, like even my, with my 20 years, sometimes I still screw up. So basically I did 
I bought eight of those. Uh, those are, maybe I can show them. Yeah, I don't think we see it right. But basically, these are digital only uh, adapters. So basically, if you if you plug a VGA cable at the end of it, and you plug this into your DVI, the DVI hand of your graphic card, they're not going to work because you need a chip to convert analog f to digital. So for some reason, I didn't see that. I just I just assumed they were the right one, and I ordered eight of them at fifteen dollar a pop. So you know, it's, it's this kind of errors that can cost a lot. And not only that, but, you know, I waited two weeks for that. So basically, I had to wait, I wait, had to wait two weeks more to order the, the, the good one. So I was like a month without my, my setup working. This really sucked. And after that, like how to buy a good video card. So if I, if I show you this one, this one in particular, as you can see, there's no fans. So the great thing with a video card without fans is that it's not gonna break, it's gonna break much, it's, it's much more harder to break. Uh, that's one of the things. The other thing is that it's really silent. And, uh, and yeah, so it's, it's much more efficient and silent and it's just less prone to breaking. And also the other thing that you must watch out is in this case, it's really thick. So if you wanna build a system like this one with eight monitors, this can take only two. And this is another thing you have to watch out. There's three exits, there's three ports, uh, DVI, VGA, and HDMI, but the card can only accept two, mon two monitors at the same time. So you cannot plug three and expect three. So those are all things that you can know, because there are cards that have three uh, ports and you can plug three monitors in it, but you have to know about that. And at the same time also, so this means that here, for my setup right there, I have, uh, I have a VGA plug, which I have on these monitors, but there's a DVI plug, so I need an adapter. Or if you have an HDMI, HDMI converter, you can use that, but it's all things that you gotta know. So basically, if you plan to build, to build like a 16 monitor uh, setup or something more, even more than that, so these cards are not gonna do, you're gonna need super thin cards, super low voltage card so that you, you don't overload your power supply. So even then, you're gonna need a bigger power supply. You're gonna need cards that either do four monitors or even six or eight. So you have to keep that in mind. So what else? Also, yeah, so basically when you buy your, your, uh, your box, so you have to build a custom box. So what size? Is it gonna be a medium tower, or high tower? And when you buy the motherboard to go with it. Can you get along? Can you get away with buying like a eighty dollar uh, motherboard? No. Like one of the last place you want to save money on a computer is the motherboard. You have to buy one of the best ones. So basically, at least one hundred eighty dollars, anywhere to two fifty is going to be a perfect price range for a motherboard. And you have to make sure that you have all the right PCI Express. So again, if you want to build. Uh, 16 monitor computer or even like an 8 like this one you need to have at least uh, 3 PCI Express basically SLI and you can have like uh, 16x and you can have also 8x and 1x uh, so that you can plug other video cards uh, what else like how many how many how much RAM do you need to run uh, stock market uh, that's another thing like how much what sort of processor do you need like if you're on a tight budget you don't want to buy a Core i7, like you don't need it. If you're on a tight budget and you want to have a stock market, to trade the stock market, then you're gonna need, uh, Core i3 is gonna be just enough. Uh, and the hard drives, hard drive, do you buy an SSD or do you buy a uh, AGD? Well, SSD are extremely unreliable. I go through at least two SSD per year. So basically, if you're running any sort of database, avoid SSDs at all costs. They're not gonna last six months. Uh, if you run anything that's super uh, hard drive intensive, SSDs are gonna burn. Like they're really, they're not, in 2013, they're still not good. They're meant for casual users. So basically you're gonna need a real hard drive or a really, really good backup system. Uh, so I'm just gonna give you a small example of the stock market.
So as you can see it's still loading. So basically how do you build a system that allows you to play the stock market like this? What sort of computer do you need? How what even like I can even help you with the software. So what sort of software will you use to, for that? So basically, how is this gonna work? So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you every, like depending on your budget, I have a software that basically you answer a couple questions and it's gonna give you exactly what type of computer you can build with exactly the links so that you can just add to cart on, on some website that I will choose. Probably Tiger Direct is a really good uh, company. So basically, once you give me a budget and, and you tell me how many screens you want to have, the software is going to decide exactly what are the best components that goes together and that are really stable, that are really high-end, that have you know, the best price range for what you want to do to give you the most stable system. And once that happens, you can, you're going to be able to just add them to cart and build them. So once you build them, you're not going to be alone. I will tell you exactly how to do each step of the computer building, how to mount the monitors on the monitor stands like these ones, uh, how to install the motherboard, the RAM, you know, what to do, what not to do. Everything's, everything is going to be in video once you receive uh, the parts that you've, that you've ordered. Also, one of the great things that I can help you with is the monitor stands. Like there are so many people selling monitor stands on the market that are extremely expensive uh, really out of price and that's too bad because I don't think like a monitor stand should cost so much so basically I found a really really good place where you really want to buy uh, your stands come like this this is like the fourth or fifth time that I buy stands from that person and they are really amazing really high quality heavy sturdy uh, like really stable also so that's a really good thing so you will save a couple hundred dollars just uh, on, on monitor stands alone uh, so also for each price range for uh, after you answer the question for each item like for motherboards for RAM for for anything I will give you three choices so basically you're gonna have three price range with my recommendation on your budget what would be the best part to buy so basically even though I will still give you a precise option a precise setup like a complete setup even with keyboards uh, in the years I've had like dozens of keyboards I had dozens of mice of all quality and range I had like the best like $200 gaming mice uh, are they good are they good for stock trading are they good for uh, video editing etc I will give you like which one uh, were the best and you'll be surprised but there I'm extremely picky on mice and most of them are really bad as well as keyboard like almost every keyboard on the market I think they're really suck uh, they're really bad so that's why right now I'm using for my PC a Mac keyboard because I think the Mac keyboard are just much better so so yeah so basically if you're a stock trader if you're working from home and you want many monitors if you're a video editor a vlogger if you're uh, if you're trying to impress people for whatever reason that's fine with me if you're uh, yeah, like, say, like I said if you're a stock trader if you're uh, if you want to play games with technology like AMD iFinity uh, I'm gonna tell you how to do that if you just want to listen to TV so basically if you want to plug a TV uh, or many TV if you're a programmer and you want to have like database on one screen and PHP reference or JavaScript or whatever you're doing if you want to have your programming code on one and you know stuff like this this side, like eight monitors is gonna be like the dream setup for you. Like if you're a programmer, I used to do programming and it's just amazing. It's, every, whatever you'll do, you'll do it like two or three times faster than just by switching windows all the time. So yeah, so if you're interested, look below, click on the link, and we'll get going as soon as you're done.